Nauliza unadhani ni mbinu ipi mwafaka ya kukabiliana na uvamizi wa nzige kufikia sasa asilimia 33%, 33% wanasema ni kunyonyezia dawa kile ambacho tunaona mkikifanya sasa asilimia kumi wanasema ni kuwapigia mayowe ukiwatoa sauti ukipiga kelele wanatoroka sijui kama inasaidia asilimia 39% ambayo ndio asilimia kubwa zaidi wanasema ni kuwageuza chakula asilimia 18% wanasema kwamba hawajui labda hapo ndi utatushauri leo pia na umetueleza kwamba kwa kunyunyizia dawa mnafanya kwa awamu sasa hawa waharibifu harib, wananyunyiziwa dawa na kisha sasa mnaangalia mayai mahali ambapo kuna uwezekano wa kuwepo mayai kwa nyunyizia dawa kwanza kabisa tumeona wakinyunyiziwa dawa lakini hakuna mahali tumesikia mtu akisema tumewapata wamemwagika kwa mamilioni mahali fulani kwani wananyunyiziwa dawa wanaenda wapi <laughs> asante sana <laughs> lakini ya kwanza nitakwambia hawa ni watu wenye hawajaenda field. Ndio hawajaona venye zimemwagika kama zimekufa. Zinamwagika mahali. Mingi, Hakuna mtu anaweza kuwa amepata. Mingi, mingi, mingi. Yeah. This I can confirm. Yeah, because we were in the field with the PS, the CS has been in the field na tumeona. Uh, lakini ile kitu ina ya muhimu yenye ningependa watu wajue ni kwamba you know easy pesticides si bunduki. Bunduki inapiga mtu anaanguka na kufa ada bunduki za zingine mtu anaenda anakufa hospitali baadaye lakini anafikiri ile watu wana expect ni kwamba wakiona ndege imepita na kuweka madawa hivi then wanaanza kuona hizi vitu zikianguka mm. no it doesn't work like that uh, juu ni chemical lazima itaanza kuingia kwa system ndio iwe so hii itachukua between uh, one hour like that to 72 hours before this happens so ile kitu utahitaji ndio ujue kama zimekufa ni kufuata ile kibunda yenye umeona na uone venye zimeanguka na ukienda kwa field tulikuwa masamburu east na tumeona hii kabisa na hii siolo also uh, so zinakufa dawa hizi zinakufa kwanza the uh, madawa zenye zinatumika saa hii na serikali very effective mm. na zinafanya ile kitu tena ijulikane tu na hii ni kwa anybody yenye anahusika na hii maneno ya control Uh, sababu ya tabia ya hizi nzige ni kwamba ukiweka dawa lazima ujue ni 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 ni, ni ratio gani unatumia mm -hmm. kwanza ni dawa gani unatumia na hiyo dawa juu unajua tunafanya kama ni aerial spray kuna vitu mingi zinahusika hapo mm -hmm. lazima ujue hata hii ndege itakimbia kilomita ngapi up from the ground ndio hii hit hizi vitu vizuri lazima ujue hiyo lazima ujue ni kwa hiyo mixa dawa ujue ni kiasi gani utakuwa una spray lakini cha muhimu hata zaidi lazima ujue ni time gani utapata hizi vitu ku spray na hapo ni kuambia kama unafanya aerial spray nzige zitakuja zilale mahali na zitalala ni kama zimekufa hapo lakini asubuhi vile joto inaanza hizi vitu zinaamka na zianze kupata joto na their wings zianze kutoka toka na zitaanza kuenda. So hata kwa hiyo spray uko na very short window ya kufanya spray between probably 7 to 8:30, 8:30 or 9 depending on the weather. So saa zingine ukifika hapo late utapata zimeenda. Saa zingine ukifika mapema sana labda umepiga dawa hizi lakini kulingana sasa na, na distance yenye umepiga dawa na upepo iko na zingine itaenda na hii. Mm. So hizi ni vitu lazima zijulikane kama tunafanya hizi na spray. Lakini niko na furaha kusema ya kwamba wenye wanafanya hii saa hii wako na ujuzi ya kufanya hii na wanaifanya. Na ni vizuri umetuambia kuhusu hilo swala la kuzana kwa sababu wengi watauliza endapo wanapigwa spray na wanakufa katika muda wa saa moja au masaa sabini na mawili vile mm. ambavyo mbona hawaishi basi? Kwa sababu sasa wamepigwa spray kesho tunasikia wako kitui kesho kutwa Moses Bay ananiambia wameshuhudiwa Tana River kwa hivyo inakuwa kwamba wanakuwa bado wanaonekana wanaonekana kila wakati mbona uh, hawakuishi uh, Actually I was suspecting Tana River will come anytime yeah. soon and, mm. and, and now you're talking about it but the, ile kitu iko uh, ni kwamba vile nilikuambia mm. when we spray this it depends to which stage are we praying mm. uh, spraying that is the most critical thing alafu vile ume, tumesema hapa hizi vitu zinakuja na ni kibunda tofauti no. these are swarms sasa utapata swarms maybe tatu 
Zico, like uh, in Baringo, you had a, one swamp. And when you went to spray the swamp, you found the swamp split into three. And because of the distance and the time you have, labda umefuatilia moja ndio umepiga that hiyo mm-hmm. moja. Uh, unaelewa? Sasa zingine mbili bado zimebaki. What does it mean? Lazima urudi kwa maneno ya urudie maneno ya surveillance kuzifuata uone zimefika wapi. Na na kando na kuspray basi ni mbinu ipi nyingine ambayo inaweza kutumika kwa sababu kuna wale wanasema labda kupiga kelele inasaidia kuwafukuza. Je, kando na kunyonyezia dawa? Yes. Hakuna mbinu nyingine ambayo inaweza kutumika? Un, un, unajua ku, ni, 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 ni dawa na dawa can be just two. We have the synthetic chemicals that we use or biopesticides. Mm. Lakini hizi vitu zingine tunaongea ati sijui kupiga mayoe whatever. Ile kitu utafanya ukipiga mayoe ni kutoa nzige pande hii na kuenda pande nyingine. Au ja control hiyo mayoe, I mean nzige. Na hiyo sio kitu tunataka. Mm, na, tunataka lakin, kukontrol nzige. Na pia tukiangalia kwa asilimia wale ambao wametuma jumbe tunaona 39% wanasema kwamba pia inaweza kugeuzwa kuwa kitoweo. Labda watu wangeambiwa basi wawatege, labda wakakaushwa wakawa chakula. Nafikiri ile kitu inatakikana ni kuwaelimisha watu wetu ndio wajue hii kitu. Na wajue kitu kama swam ni kitu aina gani na iko na uzito aina gani. Mm-hmm. Hata ukitaka ku harvest mm. utai harvest namna gani. Mm. Lakini also kwa official circles hii story ya kukula, kupiga mayoe and all this type of stuff a uh, sio control mechanisms for for desert locust haiwezi kusaidia azitasaidia anyway azitasaidia na sina sikana na zinakula zimeona zinakuliwa katika nchi nyingine au zinazokuliwa ni tofauti no, no, you, you, you have to know this is insect na ziko kwa uh, order nyingine inaitwa orthoptera na ukienda chini ya hiyo utapata various species of uh, insects or locusts sasa lazima utaanza kuenda kujua kwa ma, ufutilie manani kujua kwa wanasayansi hii ni species gani na inakulika na hiyo protein ni gapi na ni nini na nini na tutaki kwenda hapo saa hii tuko na swarms za locust tunataka kucontrol locust na tutaki kuconfuse watu ati ifanya hii na hii ingine wacha tu concentrate na maneno ya kucontrol locust na tufanye control methods na tukirudi nyuma katika hili swala la kuspray dawa ambayo inanyonyiziwa kutoka kwenye ndege yep. ina athari zozote kwa bin adam na na labda mifugo na yep. chakula ambacho yep. kipo yep. mashambani kwa sababu yep. inapigwa yep. spray yep. labda wewe utaenda ukate mboga zako upike yep. je inaweza kuwa na athari zozote kwa bin adam yeah, na good, mifugo good question hiyo sasa ni swali la muhimu zaidi mm. yani tunataka kushare na watu wajue mm. L- just kama eh, dawa yoyote hata hizi yenye tuna meza anga mm. unaambiwa dawa ni sumu dawa ni sumu mm. it's the same thing na kwa sababu hizi ni chemical sasa tunatumia kuua they may be dangerous sasa hiyo kila mtu ajue but uzuri ni kwamba kila chemical yenye inakuja inakuja na instructions vile utumika na kwa hizo ma instructions pia unaambiwa vile you store it na unaambiwa vile una una spray. So hiyo tu ndiyo mikakati tunafuata. Na wale wana spray huko that is why hata hiyo spray from the control point ni watu wenye wamekuwa qualified kufanya hii maneno. Ile kitu ningependa kuambia wananchi ni kwamba ukiona ukiona ndege inakuja ku spray, unajua usianze kuenda kuona ndege. Juu ndege inakuja na kemiko. This is information that people need to get utoke hapo ndege ifanye kazi yake jua dhari ingine hizi ndege zina fly very low ndio iwe na maximum effects so u, u, unajua utakuwa na hii tabia ukiona ndege wanakuja watoto labda wanakimbia kuona ndege inakuja lakini tunafanya hivi uh, tunaelimisha watu alafu there is now the rapid response team yenye watakuja waseme kama wamepanga ku spray wataambia watu hapo ndio wasi wasi kuwe karibu ama wasi wasi toke but also when you wanna spray because they use coordinates na wako na uh, vidawa za ma, mawasiliano these guys wataongea juu kwanza unakuja unafanya survey unaona ziko hapa na zikitoka zitaenda pande hii so wakikuja ku hit lazima watajua hii mpaka wajue at what point do we hit 
which is going to have the minimal effect, especially kwa mali penye kuna watu. The other thing yenye eh, itafanyika, inafanyika ni kwamba this is also where unaleta biopesticides, especially mali penye watu wanaka uh, around human settlements, uh, around mashamba, ama penye animals wako, this is what you do. Lakini, juu umepata, ukipata hii kitu kwa those big wide fields of Samburus and whatever in the northeastern and everything else, the only effective means yenye serikali wanatumia saa hii is aerial spray. Because some of those areas span to over hundreds and thousands of kilometers. Mm. And a, a swarm can also be as big as 60 kilometers by 30 kilometers. That is big. So kusema utaenda kuspray hiyo, and then now when you do this also, they probably they also, they, they also start flying away. Ume ni kumbusha swali. Have, you will have very minimal mm -hmm. effect. Ume ni kumbusha swali hiyo ku, ku, kupiga dawa, yes. ile tumezoea wa mashambani. Yes. Unajua kuna yule labda anatazama, atachukua dawa kwa nyumba, yes. aende haka wapige spray pia. Yes. Aseme labda ndege hatujeona hapa wacha mimi niende ni yes. Yes. nipige dawa ile ya ngombe ya, ya mimea. Ni yes. sawa mtu kufanya hivyo? Lakini sasa watapata dawa yenye itajika ya kuwa nzige. Wasitumia dawa ambazo siku kwa nyumbi? No, no, no. Kuna madawa zenye zimekua approved na Pest Control Products Board. Uh, ministry wanatumia saa hii na hata FAO and other agencies hizo ndiyo wananunua na wanapeana. Na, na nitarudi bado kuuliza kuhusu tahadhari na hatari mm. kwa wale mbao mashamba yao labda ya meathirika. Wana, muda gani uchukue kabla ya kukula zile mboga au ni nini ambacho unaweza kufanya kabla ya kuvuna kitu shambani na kutumia hiyo ina depend na hiyo ni information yenye saa hii sasa mm. itawekwa kwa by the way uh, going almost concurrently uh, and the, kuna mkutano mkutano yenye tumekuwa naye leo kwa ministry mm. ni kuweka tena sasa mikakati ya kufanya ile kitu inaitwa livelihood assessments so unataka kujua ni zime uharibifu imekuwa kiasi gani. Okay. Alafu unataka kujua ni nini utafanya kuweka hii watu wenye wame, uh, mashamba lao na my livestock na kile kitu imeharibika how do you do livelihood recovery mm. after that assessment. Mm. So hizi ni vitu zitakuja na those assessments zimeanza. Tayari FAO wali commission what we call rapid assessment. Na hiyo ilikamilika Sunday jana actually. So saa hii wanaandika report. So hii itatupea just a preliminary report ya kujua tu kijuju ni nini iko kwa field na uharibifu imekuwa kiasi gani mm. na which areas. Lakini after that kuna mipango yenye tutafanya ya joint survey, joint assessment. Hii itakuja na ita uh, uh, letter information which is actionable. Na, na hapo ndiyo tunangalia kuhusu akiba ya chakula. Kwa sababu inasemekana miaka ya 80 ni nzige walipo shugudiwa, kuli shugudiwa kiangazi, kuli shugudiwa njaa kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo ni mikakati gani ambayo imewekwa kwamba hata kukiwa na uharibifu bado kutakuwa na chakula baada ya hali hii. This is the livelihood recovery program na, which I'm talking about. Kwa mfano nini ambacho kinapangwa kufanya? No, 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 ile kitu you need to do is mm. uh, uh, okay, kwanza unajua ile, ile kitu tumefanya ni uh, ile kitu tumesema ni kwamba uh, we have to know mm. ni, ni, ni extent kiasi gani, gani. Yenye, kiasi gani yenye hii imeenda so that is one and for that sasa uweke mikakati chini ya kusema sasa nitafanya hivi na hivi na hivi no, 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 but this is going on mm. saa hii mm. yeah so sitaki mm. utoke hapa kusema hakuna mikakati lakini <laughs> nataka ujue na hizi discussions zinaendelea mbele yeah tupate taarifa baada ya muda gani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically utapata hii. That will come from the ministry. Mm. Yes. Na tunashirikiana kufanya hii. Mm. Na ikitoka itatoka na, na utapata hii vizuri sana. Na shughuli nzima itakarimu shilingi ngapi? Kwa sababu kuna yule ambaye alituma ujumbe ame nuku pesa tofauti inatumia shilingi ngapi shughuli nzima? Well, I'm not sure of uh, the sources of those other other monies, but I, I'll quote uh, what FAO jointly with IGAD, Dixit Locust, organize, uh, Locust Control Organization, uh, and the ministry talked about over the weekend mm. during the press conference. Uh, for FAO, we look at it Tuzumu first. Uh, okay, kwa mm. FAO, tunayangalia kwanza mm. uh, globally. Mm. I issue to konai, itaingia kwa ma countries ngapi, itayari countries ngapi, mm. and what would we need 
for full control yani mm. itakuwa direct control saa hii na haya mengine yani atafuatilia including the livelihood recovery mm. na hiyo fa wa estimate to be 70 million us dollars mm. yes this is about 7 billion kenya shillings mm. yes but when you come now to the country uh, uh, stage every country tuko na varied levels of invasion so lazima wafanye hii ratiba ya kupata ni kiasi gani cha hichi basi ndio watapata mm. lakini tena ujue ya kwamba uh, due ya migratory nature of these pests you're not dealing with something static mm. yenye utajua tu vizuri leo iko hapa na najua kitu itaenda up to this no so this also makes it a bit fluid na ina, inakuwa ngumu kidogo kupata hii but we have the surveillance team na tutapata hii next time nikirudi hapa nitakwambia hii hizo details zote yeah, lakini sasa tu, tu, tu inaendelea mbele tujue tu hawa, hawaondoki siku karibu hizi vitu uh, i think also hiyo ni, ni kitu kingine lazima tuseme mm. the hiyo uh, migratory nature mm. ya yeah, desert locusts let me tell you utashangaa upepo umebadilika na no. mm. all the swamps zenye ziko hapa saa hii zianze kuenda hiyo ni possibility ile kitu tutabaki kupambana naye ni hizo ma eggs zenye wameweka weka wame deposit kwa ground hizo tu ndio sasa surveillance itabaki kufanya mm. lakini saa hii bado tuko na active swamps lazima tuzifuatilie na bado tuko na hizi maneno ya eggs na kile kitu na hapo labda ndio maombi yanaingilia yale ambao watazamaji walisema tuombe tuombe upepo ubadilike waondoke waende shukran sana hamisi <laughs> hamisi uh, william ni naibu mkurugenzi wa shirika la fao fao kwa kiswahili ni shirika la chakula na kilimo ulimwenguni ambao wanahusika na tathmini ya kuangalia nzige uharibifu wake na athari ambazo zimeshuhudiwa na suluhu itakuwa ni gani shukran sana tutakualika wakati mwingine utupatie ripoti kamili shukran sana mtazamaji natumai umepata mafunzo kuhusiana na nzige wanale na nini wanapita vipi wanaweza kukabiliwa vipi mikakati ambayo inafanyika sasa na ni swala ambalo tutazidi kuliangazia kwa sababu bila shaka ni swala nyeti nampisha Mary Kilobi Atoli yuko studio na taarifa za Kate leo tukutane kesho Mungu akitujalia na kutakia usiku mwema kwa heri